This is Princey Seats Channel. Your preferred channel for awesome contents. If you are new to the channel kindly subscribe and press the notification button for further updates. This is a tough one as the comrade OCG and president of the All Grant Pressure Group of Nigeria faces a very strong tongue lashing and criticism as disbursement delays. Pay attention to this. Um, good evening everybody. <coughs> My name is Francis Ikechu. I don't have much talk to utter this night. This is 11.36. 11.36. I made a video note what two or three weeks ago. I'm trying to talk to the high chief, Chief Akogo. So, in that video note, I never insult you, and I would never in my life insult you. Maybe you did not understand me on where I'm going. But today, I listened to the voice note of uh, Oster Starwood. Oster Starwood, you are one of the people who I don't know you personally, you don't know me. I am not a, an NGO. I'm not on a cluster head, I just ordinary beneficiary, which I normally say, which I don't even know if my name is included. Uh, you are the kind of person that uh, I always respect. But coming out to talk concerning Chief Akogu is what I don't want. Because I see that you feel you know how to talk and you can overshadow everybody but let me tell you Ustad Dawood <clears throat> Nigeria is bigger than you Grand community is bigger than you the so called your flaws I say nobody can do me anything what is the case today I respect you so much but you feel you know, you know how to talk much and you can talk to anybody the way you like. As a bookie way you be. But through your voice notes this evening that I listened to, I find out that no matter how you rub outside man bleaching cream for leg in Lagos, in Lagos State Black, no matter how outside man rub bleaching cream bleach for a, for a leg in Lagos State Black, you see, uh, sometimes when you honor people too much, they will feel that they know everything. Coming out to talk to Chief Akogu that they want to emphasize himself to uh, um, the general public to fight you people. It's not like that. Because sometimes when you people want to talk, you are supposed to think of what you're going to talk or what you're going to release to the general public before you come out to talk. But this one, you know talk am. You know think am. You just come out, come talk blah 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 the way you like and go back. People are suffering, people are dying. They take you people by your word. And now you talk anyhow. Don't think that you are above everybody or you're above Nigeria. I said in my life the end, the good prophets, the good ones, not the bad ones, the ones that called call, not the ones that call themselves, should come out and see what is happening. But I find out that everybody is just everybody have dropped the mantle that God gave them as a prophet and they are not fighting for money and grants. <laughs> oh God. All is well. See, Ustad Daoud, in whatever you come out in the platform to talk, talk, not you. It's God that makes you to talk. Because when God wants to kill somebody, when the gods want to kill somebody, he will first of all make him big stomach. And God will make that person to make a mistake to implicate himself. You have V notes this evening that I listened to. 
you want to implicate yourself but the repercussion of it may be too heavy for you to carry so you are happy that people are dying every day you are happy that they are removing people from their houses just because of they don't have money to pay you are happy that people are sick you come out to tell us that you're not a grand handler are you not the same person that come out and say that you people sought for this grant and they call uh, Ken Wakama just for him not to fish him to, uh, to come and sit on that seat? And today you come out to the point that you are not a grant handler. If you're not a grant handler, what are you? Are you still fighting for the masses? Are you still fighting for the masses that you clearly are fighting for or you're fighting for your pockets? If you are not a grand handler, what is the dispute between you and all these people that make you put on to do, dispose this money? Same you people, I saw Chief Akogu and give me a day that I'm going to dispose this morning. And today you are coming out to talk to that man. I find out that you don't have respect. But I know very well that you cannot talk to your ordinary meangba for your village. You can't talk to him that way. You can't talk to your king that way. You can't talk to the chief of your village that way. You people should be very, very careful. Whatever that you see, a child is crying and pointing hand. If you mother no day there, your father go day there. I am not in in print of human being, but in print of God. I still can still do something. But let me tell you what is going to happen this time around. I don't come out to prophesize what I don't know. The good prophet that is in this platform or that is in the grand community should go and use their inner eyes to see the danger that you are trying to put yourself. Because the fight that you are trying to build, you won't be able to carry it finish. The war drum that you are beating, you won't be able to finish the dance. I am talking to Stradawu this time around. If you say you don't fear anybody, there is people you fear. There is people that will come out with the talk you fear. Ustadawood, when you say your village is very far, after your village, there's another village. Are you hearing me? It's God that makes you people to make mistake to talk anyhow. Another person I want to talk to is this one that call himself, uh, uh, this drunker that call himself uh, OCG. OCG, I look at you, spiritually you're a very small boy. You don't even know your left and right. You don't have responsibility. When I listen to your V-notes, you come out to insult Igbo people. If you are a really Igbo man, you will never insult any Igbo. Because they are the heartbeat of this country. Go and ask question. But because you don't have respect, you don't have sense, you come out to talk to Igbo people the way you like. And I will be a papa if I may ask. You will say you not be anything at all at all in grand community. Grand community make you now it's popular. You come out to want to insult Igbo people. In the day of verification, how much do they collect from people to give them code? Or is it because, because people keep quiet, they don't want their secret to leak? Many of you, your hand is thin. Many of you, you have a cockroach on inside your cupboard. And you think people don't know. Even the so-called uh, monkey hand. If that one talk, if that one talk, we release in video of our trustee that he do for Abuja there. They call himself man of God. We release it. Everybody just keep quiet. They watch. Then let me not tell you people something that is going to happen now. People are giving you uh, one week, two weeks, three days to do this thing. And masses are dying. All of you keep quiet because of greed and what you want to eat the whole world. Let me tell you what is going to happen right now. I, Prophet Ketuku, 
decree a word this hour for the bible said that we should decree a word it shall come to establish right from the day of john the Baptist, the kingdom of god shall fire violet and only violet takes by force masses are dying you people are there enjoying let me tell you right now i prophesize my own from now to end of this month if nothing is done then the people that feel that they are on top will start dying people that feel that they are on top of this grant that don't want it to this boss will start dying so that you will test it and see how you feel like by the time that the ones on top start dying they will know that yes masses have endured many of you will not finish this journey that you started except you do something right now for god to have mercy upon you people but if you keep on prolonging this matter if you keep on prolonging this matter many of you will not see the end of how this money will finish and how the, this boss money will come from now the ending of this month you people will know that yes god have hand in nigeria and then you people will know that there is prophet in nigeria i won't like to talk too much i don't insult people but what I tell people is exactly what is going to happen. But you people should be very, very careful. The war drum that you are beating, when the war starts, you will be able to finish the dance. You will not be able to finish the dance that you started. Be one. Stop fooling masses. Stop playing with their intelligence. Stop suffering the masses of Nigeria. Stop killing them silently. If not so, very soon, any moment from now, the beating of the dance that you people are beating will change and you people will have the dance. If you people think that nobody can do anything, that you have all the powers to do everything, my God can do something that many of you will not see the end of how this money will disperse. I will not like to wall it one again. If you know you have your own altar, begin to go, go there now and begin to ask God for forgiveness for the atrocities that you people have committed for Nigeria, including Ken Wakama. All of you, all of you are involved in one way or the other. I see everybody talking about uh, Wagachukun, 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 Wagachukun. <laughs> the drum is about to change and you people are going to dance the beating, the worst beating of that drum. Ending of this month, if nothing happened, the death and the sickness will shift and come for the, the head. And if you say it's not like that, I will not happen that way. Try and see. Ending of this month. If you have your altar, go and raise it. Because here that I am, I am going to raise my own altar too. Against you people. Because the masses, the blood of innocent ones, the dead ones, the children that are out of school, those people that they throw out of their house, people that are crying, those that go for exile for the sake of, they cannot stand for the crazy things people make them to have. Their blood is speaking and their blood is crying for vengeance and that vengeance will stop any moment from now. That vengeance will stop any moment from now. That vengeance will start any moment from now if you people don't do what you're supposed to do. The greed that is holding you people, the, the whole world of money that you want to carry, you won't be able to eat it finish. I warn and watch and see. I don't care if you disburse this money tomorrow or next tomorrow or any time at all, but if it passes this end of this month, you are going to dance the dance that you will not feel, you will not understand. A type of dance and a type of drum that God is going to beat for you people. You will not know the style to dance with it. Hmm. Hmm. I won't say more than this. If you like, come out to insult me. No problem. But definitely, you will get it. The so-called OCG that don't have 
name they don't have respect i don't even know where i'm from after finishing a drink with his stomach right that look like a, 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 a drum he will come out and start talking rubbish you people are happy because you are getting yeah small small things that you used to keep yourself together don't worry whichever chick uh, fowl they use for medicine also go for medicine any fowl they take do medicine that medicine they full up they full go you can collect the whole money collect every with call of greed collect the giant share collect the lion share the most of you that punish nigeria will not live to finish that money it's a promise and that's what god wants to do to he has given you people a very long group giving you people an opportunity to make peace giving you people a grace to be happy in life but you choose the hard way you choose destruction you choose the pains it's coming let's see what happened by end of this month peace